A very good evening to all our viewers. Uh, welcome to Thursday's edition of the Evening Review. My name is uh, Taiwan Jabela, your host. Let's look at some of the headlines in uh, Friday's edition of Namibia Sun. Government tells Naloba to be inclusive. That was uh, after they met at State House this week. And then uh, uh, we have uh, the uh, cabinet scorecards in uh, Friday's paper. So if you want to see how your minister performed according to expert views, grab a copy and see how they have been rated. Finally, Namibian, dam, Namibian dams are close to 85% full. That is some good news following obviously the good rains that we have had in recent weeks. So that is uh, some good news regarding the water capacity in the country. Tonight on the show, we are joined by Peter Amadila. He is uh, Vice President of the Namibia Local Businesses uh, Association, NALOBA, that was uh, recently created by business people that think uh, they have to do better for business. And uh, they visited State House this week also. And uh, Peter is here to speak to us about this association and its intentions. Thank you very much, uh, sir, for making time. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank wonderful, you. wonderful. Thank you. So, so what is Naloba, and, and how did it come about? Thank you, Toivo. Uh, Naloba stands for Namibia Local Business Association. Yeah. Uh, when you see the word local, it doesn't mean it's an association for, from Ventuk or from Oshakati or mm. from Otapi. Yeah. The word local means native. Okay. So it's an association of all native Namibian businessmen and women. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, how, how did the idea come about? What, what is it that prompted the idea to, to create Naloba? Toivo, uh, uh, Naloba was created as a result of uh, business communities yeah. across the country felt voiceless, especially during the hardest time for the past two years, we have been facing the uh, hardest time, especially of COVID, and we have had numerous challenges mm. that are facing our businesses. Mm. But we felt empty. We didn't have a voice. Mm. As a result, we decided to create up an association to represent ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of uh, lack of voice, um, because we are told, for example, that uh, some members of Naloba uh, disillusioned former members of, um, or they were, they were with uh, NCCI, the Namibia Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and um, they have since then uh, vacated um, or left NCCI, and uh, then joined up, joined uh, joined hands to come up with Naloba. So, it, it, you know, for example, what was the what was wrong with NCCI? Uh, why did, uh, I don't know if you personally were part of NCCI, but if you were, why did you leave? <laughs> uh, it's a pity, Toivo, that you're dragging us now to, to discuss about NCCI, yeah. the thing that we hate. We don't want to discuss any other organization or associations. Mm -hmm. We are an association of our own. Yes, but just to simply answer your question, is that yes, of course, uh, people, tend to look for where they are comfortable. Yeah. It's a matter of choice. Mm -hmm. uh, they tend to look where they feel they are being represented, mm -hmm. their interests and their needs are being catered, mm -hmm. and I mean business interests and their needs. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, look, I don't want to discuss Peter, I don't want to discuss NCCI necessarily, but they have been in the papers. Even this morning, uh, they were in the papers, they issued a press statement. Uh, they said, as a matter of fact, there's an advert in one of the local uh, one of the local dailies. You know, saying these are uh, disgruntled people. Uh, <laughs> they were never our members. They they never paid up for years. Now, 
So how can, say, how can they say that they left us when they have essentially been not members because of non-payment for that, that long time? Uh, what is your reaction to when you must have seen some of their statements? What, what do you think? Yes, I have seen uh, a lot of statements that uh, they have made. Mm. Uh, I probably say they are in a state of panic. And uh, like I say, we don't want to discuss NCCI. Yeah. We are an association of our own. Uh, we are not in competition with anybody. We are not yeah. in challenge. We are not challenging anybody. Yeah. So we are on our own. Mm -hmm. But yes, of course, I have seen all those. And I read and I skip through. <laughs> you skip <Yes>. through, <laughs> yeah. So at, at, your, at your state house meeting, they say, um, so the, the president say, said, be inclusive. Uh, the vice president said, be inclusive. The prime minister said, be inclusive. And, and I suppose that is because the launch of Naloba happened in the north. Maybe there's that perception that uh, it's a northern, even probably Vambu <laughs> organization. <laughs> uh, just to allay some fears, what can you tell us about the diversity of the organization and its intended expansion? Uh, yes, you know, uh, traditionally, all the launchings uh, has been made previously in Bentuk. Yeah. It's a capital city of the uh, uh, country. Yeah. Uh, however, this sp specific and unique initiative happened in the north, but not necessarily to say that it was only constituted by people from the north. Mm. This is an all-inclusive uh, Namibian business association mm. uh, catering all the 14 regions of the country. Mm -hmm. And we are very, very well represented, as I'm telling you. Mm. And we continue to receive daily memberships coming across from across all the corners of the country. Mm. So we are... Our headquarter is in Ongwediva, mm -hmm. but we have in plan and we have mapped out all the regions and towns mm -hmm. where we should uh, institute our offices with uh, regional leaderships. Mm -hmm. And uh, the structure show for itself. Everything is in place. Mm -hmm. We have got 14 regions represented and we are a well represented association as far as the whole country is concerned. Yeah, yeah. When, um, <clears throat> when we had the news of Naloba being uh, launched, and I received an, an invite uh, from one of my friends uh, that uh, is within Naloba, and uh, obviously uh, in, in my capacity as a journalist to attend. Um, <clears throat> you know, there was a lot of speculation at the time, just before the launch. Oh, what kind of organization is this? Is it a, a political organization? Is it a lobby group you know, to influence politics and stuff like that? What can you say about, uh, about that, especially on perceptions or even fear that this will be a very powerful organization that will influence politics going forward? Uh, yes, we have had a lot of uh, allegations and rumors uh, going across back and forth, yeah. saying, uh, no, the business people are now uh, starting up a political party. And it, I think, uh, induces, induced fears mm. across the country and uh, especially across the politicians. Yeah. This is why we took a bold step to uh, solicit an audience with the president, the head of state, yeah. and his entire team, so that they can hear it from the horse mouth. Mm. We went to clarify exactly who are we. Mm. Uh, my brother, Toivo, to be honestly speaking to you, we are a non-tribal association. Mm -hmm. We are not politically affiliated. Mm. We're not affiliated to any political party. Mm. We are purely, purely a business association. Mm -hmm. We are not racist, and we are a non-profit making association. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. the fear should be completely taken away. Sure, sure. Mm. Now, one question that came to mind also is how this new baby that can barely walk was able to secure a high level audience with the president already. The president was in attendance, vice president was in attendance, prime minister was at, uh, in attendance. I mean, uh, how did you guys secure that so early? Uh, first of all, the, the wind is blowing in the right direction. Uh, you know, when you have got something that is truly a representative of a certain uh, uh, class yeah. and a certain uh, uh, initiative, that is aimed to benefit the nation, mm. definitely you, uh, followers will follow you immediately. 
mm -hmm. uh, that uh, uh, automatically translate it to the state. Mm -hmm. uh, the state will be able to, uh, to, 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 to understand mm -hmm. that this is a good cause and we should give it audience. Mm -hmm. You know, people are scared, uh, Peter, because, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it's a, this is going to be a very politically heavy year, uh, especially in the context of SWAPO. Um, of course, you, are, you, are, you have clarified now that uh, this is a non-political uh, association, but obviously we know the faces that in your private capacities, a lot of you are, are staunch supporters of the ruling party. Do you think that, that uh, there is that desire then to associate the, the association the Naloba now with, uh, with people who might have political ambitions, knowing obviously that uh, even if the association itself doesn't play politics, its members will be very critical in the political space going forward, especially ahead of the Swapo Congress? Toivo, <laughs> uh, uh, you're dragging me into politics where we do not want to go. <laughs> yeah. I have made it clear that uh, yeah. we are not uh, politically affiliated. Yeah. Yes, uh, members of the association probably mm. on an individual capacity yeah. could be associated to any political parties and so on. Yeah. But we have made it very clear and also in our constitution yeah. that uh, a person, a member who is a member of Naloba mm -hmm. should not, especially on the leadership, yeah. cannot be own or have a position, a position of responsibility mm. in their own uh, political parties of their own choice. Mm -hmm. So if you are in the structure, in the structure of Naroba, mm. you will not be permitted to have a position, let me say, in your political party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that works fairly well. And it's only when we are all having a purpose of attending and solving the business matters, yeah. we will uh, achieve excellence. Indeed. So in your conversation with uh, the national leadership of the country, um, obviously you went there, you pitched, you, you, you identified yourself, I mean introduced yourself. Uh, of course, what I, what I picked up from the meeting is, is that inclusive nature that uh, the, the president and his deputies uh, have called for. But what, what was sort of the, the takeaways, the key takeaways from your meeting with the State House? What, what, what is it that uh, the President, what else did they say to you as, as an association? Uh, we have a very, very good uh, audience with the uh, head of state and his, his team, mm. especially the cabinet mm. and the regional governors. We were well received. We were well uh, uh, treated in terms of audience. Mm. Uh, yes, of course, the president has emphasized on inclusivity, mm -hmm. and we are inclusive as, a, as an association. Mm -hmm. we are, I previously told you that we are well represented in there, mm -hmm. looking at all the uh, corners of the country. Yes, of course, uh, he has also emphasized on unity, mm -hmm. that uh, we should uh, be united and, uh, and work on, on achieving a common cause, mm -hmm. for good cause for all the Namibians. So I... I'm here to tell you that we received a very, very good audience. Yeah. We were well accepted. Uh, purely our meeting of yesterday with the head of state was not a meeting where we have to raise our concerns and challenges, mm. although we as a business community have a lot of challenges at the moment. Mm. Our meeting purposely and purely was uh, an introductory meeting yeah, yeah. to the head of state to brief him about the association, who are we, mm. uh, in order to take away all those perceptions that you previously mentioned that were rumors around the country and so on. Mm. Yes, mm. that was purely our intention to meet the head of state. Indeed. We'll go for a quick break, uh, Peter. We'll come back. We will talk about those challenges, the specific challenges that the businesses are facing. Maybe if you can unpack for us that uh, after the break. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Have you received a loan from NASFAV? NASFAV loan is the same as any other loan. It must be paid and settled. NASFAV has a set of guidelines on how you can repay your loan and become debt free. Therefore, it is important that you, a former beneficiary and a responsible Namibian, show your patriotism 
by helping pay back your loan and thus helping NASFAF become a revolving fund for the benefit of future potential students. By failing to pay back your NASFAF loan, you risk being blacklisted or having a court order against you. So arrange with the fund to pay back your loan today. For more information on how you can repay your loan, visit our website at www.nasfaf.na or visit our Facebook page or Twitter. Do the right thing and hashtag pay back the money. We continue with uh, Peter Amadila. He is uh, vice president of NALOBA, that is the Namibia Local Business Association that was created recently. Uh, so Peter, you, you spoke just before you go, we went on a break about um, the challenges that businesses are facing, especially, I mean, at the very beginning you spoke about how within the past two years of the pandemic, this situation has been very difficult. Might be in, in practical terms, what have been the challenges? Uh, to be honestly speaking, and I, I think these challenges are quite clearly visible. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the performance of the economy at the moment, mm -hmm. it's not doing very well. It's not doing well at all. Yeah. And that has been as a consequence of pressure being put on business. Yeah. At the moment, we have most of, let me say, for example, the SME mm -hmm. and SME companies mm -hmm. that were uh, the backbone of the Namibian economy. Yeah. At the moment, if you look at most of the SMEs, you find only the owner in the name of the company, nothing else. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, assets repossessed by the banks mm -hmm. uh, due to inability to generate revenues. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that has been across the whole country. Mm -hmm. And it has been all the business were affected, yeah. especially during the last two years. You know, before the last two years of COVID, there has been drought, yes. which took a lot of animals for the farmers, mm -hmm. and a lot of farmers generating income through that. So then followed by COVID. Mm -hmm. Two years, no business of operation, no business activity. Mm -hmm. It's depressing. Yes. Business has been depressed. As a result, they could not pay tax. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Some are now locked up in tax challenges. Mm -hmm. So tax is one of the challenges that business is facing to repay back, you know, uh, with tax. Mm. You don't get a good standing to procure work yes. if you are in tax debt. Mm. Now we are locked by that clause. You cannot procure new work because you cannot get good standing. Mm. And we, of course, we intend to get NAMRA, the new uh, agency on the table, to discuss and mm. unlock the challenge mm. to pave way uh, for future economic growth. Mm. Uh, other challenges uh, include the same again, like uh, probably with Natas. Yeah. Natas, you know, there are also contributions that business uh, men contribute to Natas, mm. to road funds, mm. uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the inability for a lot of business to generate revenue mm. has been a huge, huge, huge challenge. Yeah. And that is where now we felt voiceless. We didn't have a voice mm. to represent us and to spearhead business uh, personnel to negotiate all these things. Mm. But yes, of course, now with the right tools in, in place, we are in a possible good direction to win. Yeah. It's interesting, Peter, because <clears throat> this week there was another business forum of some sort, uh, the Black Businesses Network, um, I can't remember the exact name, but it's something to that effect. It went to State House also exactly yesterday, as yourselves. And what they were talking about is how businesses are being targeted by banks, they are, they are having their issues, their assets being repossessed, which you just alluded to yourself now. Um, what are you proposing that banks do? I mean, you signed contracts with them and said uh, this is the agreement. Um, 
what, what is the best way to, to handle these things? Non-payment of, of, of obligations. Yes, for example, we, we have in our menu a set so that we could make an appointment with the banks mm. or invite the banks mm. as an association to come and sit down. All banks, when I mean a bank, I mean all commercial banks, yeah. to sit down with the association and listen to the proposal. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, of course, yes, everywhere where you look, uh, properties, and if you look in the newspaper, mm. just properties under repossession and so on, mm. auctions everywhere, right and left. Mm. So we want to sit down with the bank and propose a different proposal that will be a win-win proposal for all of us. Mm. Either to reschedule uh, payments, yeah. to give uh, business community payment holidays, or to, to reschedule mm. the, and put up payment plans. Mm. So we are definitely in a, on the way mm. to approach the bank to sit down with them so that they can give relief to our business community. Yeah. And, and politics, what, 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 do, what role do politicians have in ensuring that uh, we go back to the old days when things were a bit shiny, you know, rainy, the rainy days, um, in terms of maybe policy directives or policy interventions? What, what is it that politicians, the ministers, cabinet, and others must do? Uh, you know, as an association, one of our objectives is to, to help government, yeah. to help government on policy mm. formulations, amendment, review, mm -hmm. and especially trade policies. Mm. Uh, we want to perfection that. That will ensure uh, better competition in the market, mm -hmm. uh, fostering now relationship with uh, local and foreign investors. Mm -hmm. uh, Toivo, uh, my brother, let me make it categorically clear that we are not against uh, foreign investors yeah. in, the, in Namibia. Yeah. We welcome foreign investors in Namibia to partner with us to, so that we can tap out skills from them mm. to use, utilize them for future. Yeah, yeah. But we want foreign investors who are coming here to do what Namibian cannot do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We mm. want to secure that fair competition mm. for our business personnel as, mm. as an association. Mm -hmm. Yes, we made it even clear to the president that we are not mm. against foreign investors. Yeah, yeah. We want to work with them, yeah. but they must come here to do specialized work mm. beyond our Namibian skills. Mm -hmm. Maybe as we close off uh, this conversation, Peter, the, what is the attitude of Naloba towards uh, this uh, NIEF bill? Uh, it's too long, I can't. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that empowerment scheme. Um, <clears throat> because one of the things that the president said this week was that uh, he said that uh, there are black businesses, business people that are being um, used by white businesses by, yeah, to oppose this scheme. Those were his exact words. Um, Naloba's attitude towards that bill is what? Uh, honestly speaking, Toivo, uh, we have been hearing about NIEF, mm. probably as we have been hearing stories of Jekyll and Haina. Yeah. We haven't really seen the, the result of NIEF. Mm. Uh, I haven't seen fellow businessmen and women who benefited through that uh, initiative. Yeah, yeah. Probably if they are there, I, we haven't heard them. Mm. But of course, as an association, we focus on representing truly mm. business interests and needs of all the Namibian people, yeah. Namibian local uh, native people. Doesn't matter uh, the skin color. Mm. So we, I, I already told you that we are non-tribalist yeah. and non-racist. Mm. We focus to represent all Namibian native businessmen and women, mm. irrespective of their color and so on. Indeed. Yes. Um, finally then, Peter, what, what is it that um, in, your, in your thinking, three, four years from now, what, what will be Naloba's stature? in society, what, what, what do you aim to be five or four years from now? Believe me, follow me from now on uh, uh, Toivo and uh, see how we progress. Mm -hmm. We are a baby that just started growing yeah. and we are growing fairly, fairly well. Yeah. As I'm speaking to you, probably somebody is already signing up membership with us. Yeah. And we intend to truly work for our members mm -hmm. 
we intend to uh, empower our members through uh, business development platforms. Mm. We really want to take them to a next level. One of our objectives, among others, are to partner with the government mm. to create jobs, mm. to create wealth for the Namibian people. Mm. By partnering, by partnering, we could uh, engage ourselves with the government yeah. and revive projects, especially projects that has been foundations to the country and they are now dormant. Mm. And I'm specifically probably singling out some of them like the factory of Ramatex. Mm. Mm. All our irrigation projects are currently dormant. Mm. Mm. A Tunda irrigation project, the, the Karimbeza, mm. Dongalineme, just to mention a few. Mm. Mm. Those are things that we want to partner with the government straightforward mm. to help government to create job and wealth. Yeah, yes, so in three to four, five years down the line, you will see a big, big, big growth mm. in terms of our association and the benefit will be clearly visible with naked eyes. Wonderful. Mm. Peter, are we allowed to, <laughs> to shake head? Thank yeah, you. of course, yeah, definitely. Thank you for coming again. Yes. All, all the best for Naloba. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. That was uh, Peter Madila uh, speaking about uh, that new association that has uh, sent shockwaves uh, in some quarters in recent weeks. Uh, thank you for watching and good night.